said, you know, Romans 8, 29, he said that whom he foreknew, he predestined to be conformed into the image of his son, Christ Jesus. But the enemy of God's plan is self-esteem. Thinking about ourselves, thinking highly of ourselves. And that self-esteem is so precious to the world today, so nurtured by the world today. That self-esteem is not only taught in all of our schools and worshipped in our culture, and it is indeed worshipped in our culture. It has become the message that is preached from thousands of pulpits every single week in the Western world, churches in the Western world. It has to be. You know, Paul talked about that in his letter to Timothy, second letter to Timothy, because he said in the last days, men will hold to a form of godliness, but deny the power thereof, right? But the thing, but before he says that, he said, but realize this, that in the last days, perilous times will come, for men will be lovers of self. That's the first one. And it is the gateway to the rest, all right? Second Timothy 3, that was the first one. Pride is the gateway to all sin. Pride is indeed the gateway to all sin. And you know, pride indeed can even come disguised as humility. Yes, it can. Because you get proud of your humility, <laughs> all right? I, I just want to say this, and I pray that you've seen or, or heard enough of me to understand that I don't, I don't say this, I don't say anything for condemnation. I pray that it's for, for encouragement and correction, okay? Um, I, I mentioned what's going on in so many so many pulpits today. That's a fact. I mean, that's just a, just a fact. And it's not new. I mean, go read how God spoke of the quote-unquote shepherds of Israel back in, in Isaiah and Jeremiah and Ezekiel, right? Woe to the shepherds. So I want to say this to the quote-unquote church leaders of today. Before you get so proud of yourself because you are, you're the one that everybody's looking at come Sunday, right? I want to remind you of this. And this goes to our conversation about holiness last week. God can make dirt holy. Mm. That's right. He did when Moses showed up. He said, the ground you're standing on is holy. That's right. He can make dirt holy. He can speak through a donkey <laughs> like he did with Balaam That's right. in the time of Balak. That's right. So don't get too uppity. Don't get too uppity. If any man boasts, let him boast in the Lord. You know, there are six things that the Lord hates, yea, even seven that are an abomination to him. And the first one of those is haughty eyes, pride. That's, that's from Proverbs chapter 6. Go read it. Proverbs 6, 16, 16, 17, and on. He hates it. God is love. Don't for a moment think that there are not things that God hates. And pride is first and foremost. Why? Because he came. God the Father sent Jesus Christ to bring life. While the enemy comes to steal, to kill, and destroy. His first weapon is pride. Isn't that what he played upon with Eve, and the, with the woman in the garden? All right? Like I said, my, my dear brother who has gone on before us, Arthur Burt, used to call it damnable pride. Pride goes before destruction. Haughty eyes before a fall. All right? Satan wants you to fall. Satan wants you to collapse. He wants you to drop dead on the ground. He does not want you to be holy. He does not want you to be free. He does not want you to be joyful. He does not want you to have love. He doesn't want you to have peace. So his tool, I promise you, is pride. And pride is insidious. It's always, always, always pushing, trying to get in. Trying to get in. God desires you to be holy. It takes humility. But as you focus on the holiness of God, because we're supposed to take part in His holiness, that's got to humble you. Yes. Because there's one thing that will humble you. I mean, it's not like some, you know, kind of trying to whip the flesh on your back to read. You know what, what will cause you to truly come to a place of humility? It's fixing your eyes on Jesus Christ. Being in the presence of our God. Because how in the world can you possibly come and be in the presence of God and focus on your own pride? And yet, and yet, in the Sermon on the Mount, 
that I talk about so much here, at the end, towards the end of the Sermon on the Mount, Jesus said, many, not a few, he said, many will come to me on that day, that final day, and will say, Lord, Lord, look what we did in your name. We cast out demons, we did this, we did that. How can you come into the presence of the living, risen Jesus Christ, standing there with nail-scarred hands, open to greet you, and say to him, look what I did. And his response to those people was, depart from me, you evil ones. I never knew you. I promise you there is such danger in pride. Humble thyself in the sight of the Lord. Humble thyself in the sight of the Lord. And he will lift you up higher and higher and he Humble thyself in the sight of the Lord. Humble thyself in the sight of the Lord.